Mark 5, from verse 25. It says, And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. Now this, this is a very serious situation that this woman was in. This woman was menstruating every day without fail for 12 years. That is dangerous. Losing blood every day for 12 years. The Bible said of this woman that listen, <laughs> she suffered many things of many physicians. What do you think of that? She's a woman. Some of these physicians, maybe many of them, they were male. And so it says she suffered many things of many physicians. To me, that suggests that they would have harassed her sexually, harassed her, molested her physically, sexually, suffered many things. They took advantage of her because she was a woman and because of what she was going through in her life. Offered her solutions when they themselves knew there was no solution in what they were offering to her. Now said she suffered many things of many physicians. And then he says, and had spent all that she had. <laughs> spent all that she had. In other words, all the gold, the silver, the currency of the day that she had, she had exhausted them. And she had entered into the sales of her properties, her jewelries, her clothes. Bible says she had spent all that she had. In other words, she spent everything, her livelihood, everything, her reserve, everything she had on her treatment. And what was the result? <laughs> Bible said she was nothing better. That means there was no improvement. <laughs> and, you know, there are some of you who have been listening to me here on social media. You see, you are listening to me. It's like nothing is happening. You see, you have done all you know to do. You have tried everything. You have, you see, maybe even prayed and fasted. It's just like this woman, if I was saying of her, she was nothing better. There's no improvement. It doesn't only stop there that there was no improvement, that she was nothing better. They said that she rather grew worse. So, look at it. It was not just that there was no improvement, but the situation was deteriorating. And so everybody must have been up on her. The one thing you find here is that this woman did not give up on herself. Failure in life truly begins when you give up on yourself. When you tell yourself it will no longer work. When you tell yourself there cannot be any way anymore. When you write off yourself or write off that business, write off that marriage, write off your health, write off is there anything that concerns you. You see, that is when true failure begins. And so, the point I was making is that there is no person that doesn't, has, that doesn't experience failings. Now, you see, you are not a failure because you are experiencing failings. You are a failure because you have accepted yourself as a failure. I'm going to say this thing that manufactured the electric lamp I will have it today. That we all enjoy today, the electric lamp. 
We are told that he did thousands of experiments. And every one of them was failing. He would try this way, connect to electricity, no result. Try this way, connect to electricity. He kept doing it 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times. And he just kept on. Until one day, he got what he was looking for. The lamp glowed. And that was the beginning of electric light. That we all enjoy and take for granted today. This woman did not give up on herself. Yes, she was experiencing failures in her life, in her health, but she didn't give up on herself. Don't give up on yourself. Hallelujah. Don't write yourself out. Don't tell yourself, hey, this is not that person. Who said so? Who said so? Who will ever imagine that Joseph, a slave in prison, one night, that the following morning will become the prime minister of all of Egypt? And govern Egypt by his words. Who would have said so? From prison to become a prime minister. Who would have thought that Mordecai, a gatekeeper, would become the prince of Persia? One day, he was to be hanged the following morning, himself and his family. But that same morning, he was made the prince of Persia. Who would have thought so? Don't give up on yourself. Hallelujah. God said, the thoughts I think towards you, they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you the end that you expect. Amen. I said, Amen.